I'd like to just start. My name is Ed Boyage. I'm the president and CEO of Enterprise DB. And we are the worldwide commercial provider of the commercial version of the Postgres database. And so you may be wondering, you know, what brings us to this event? And I think what's important and what I want to talk to you a little bit about in our time is that last year we had another 400 customers come to Enterprise DB to solve a very basic economic problem they were having. And I think it's in the solution to that problem that they're enabling the ability to spend on the new set of IT challenges they have, most notably the issues that you're talking about here with big data and how to solve the problem of more information being used more effectively across the enterprise. And, and, and if you think about that problem, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but, but you may not be addressing it completely at a very, very basic level. You guys know how much your budgets grow in the IT area year on year. I mean, if you're lucky in this economy, your budgets are growing in single digit percentages. In many companies we deal with, they're actually flat or declining. But if you compare the growth of the IT budget and you just look at it in comparison to the growth of data, which is you know, many orders of magnitude bigger, but it's not just the growth of data. What comes with that growth of data, as you all know, is the business demands to use the information more effectively to solve bigger, more relevant business problems. And the gap between that growth in information and data and the business needs that come out of it and the growth in your IT budget creates a huge strain on your ability to fund those new projects that we all know are going to help derive bigger end results for your businesses and your organizations. And so over the past year, we've been part of, as an open source database company, we've been part of helping our customers address that problem by shifting spend from their expensive incumbent vendors and moving to more open source database centric solutions to save money. And so I, I highlighted here, you, know, you have a basic strategic budget problem. And you think about that delta between the growth in your IT budget and the growth in information and business requirements. You know, in, in the first year, that problem may even feel kind of manageable. But look at that over a five-year period. Look at it over a 10-year period. The difference grows at an accelerating rate. That gets bigger and bigger every year. And so if you think about it at the simplest level, and most of our customers look at it like this, they got a bucket of spend that goes into IT infrastructure software. They got spend that goes to hardware. They got spend that goes to services. They got spend that goes to applications. But in that area of IT infrastructure software, they typically think about their middleware. They think about database, of course. They think about operating system and, and some other technologies. But to put it in some perspective, of that software spend stack database actually consumes 35% in as much as 35% of the entire software spend in an organization. You just stop and think about the magnitude of that spend. And most of that money is going to spend on, what's it being spent on? You guys know. It's being spent on your maintenance and support fees. Is it going to the big incumbent vendors who have a, a grip on your IT budget? And so we see that as out of balance. And the, the mission for our company really is to bring low cost, high performance database alternatives that allow you to shift that money and put some of it back into your P&L, because that's what your CFOs want, and then put some of it into your new initiative so you can accelerate growth in those areas. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a very simple approach that we've used and it's become a best practice with companies that we work with to help start to address this issue. But my message to you and, and the reason we're here and, and supporting this event is because we think that in order for you to address some of the big data challenges you face, you've got to think about the strategic budget problem you have, and we want to help you do that. This price of entry, there's a lot of price of entry to play in the database market. I'm going to take for the moment, you just have to take for granted that the Postgres open source database is an extraordinary technology. You know, with Oracle's MySQL now in transition, many users of open source database are taking a fresh look at what Postgres can do, and I urge you to go 
to the website postgres.org and take a look at the technology. But let me tell you that one price of entry is that open source project has got to be a strong project. And so for those of you who aren't aware of what Postgres has accomplished over the past few years, you know, here are a few stats. There are over, we estimate over 9 million software downloads a year. We do ourselves at Enterprise DB close to 3 million, uh, 3 million software downloads, over 60,000 software downloads per week. Um, you'll note that it's in every major Linux distribution uh, from RHEL, Red Enterprise Linux, to, to Fedora, to SUSE, to, op I'm sorry, to, to uh, SLES and OpenSUSE. Um, so you may already have Postgres in your vi environment. How many of you know what Postgres is or have used Postgres? Outstanding. I would say that's 90% of you. You guys didn't look, maybe 50% of you. Um, You'll see some other facts and figures and stats, but Postgres is quite strong and quite dominant. I'm going to talk to you about some examples of companies um, that are using, using the technology. So here's a very simple plan. And, I, and I, we want this plan to be straightforward because the most important thing we think you can do is address your strategic budget problem and start doing it now. And so there are five steps in this plan. If you came to my talk yesterday, there were a few uh, preliminary steps, which included having a goal, building a team and going and get the software. Uh, for the sake of my uh, 15 minutes here, I've taken those first three steps out. We've got uh, five steps, but, and I'll go through each one of them. Pick a pilot project and launch it, and by the way, make sure you call your incumbent vendor and tell them you're doing it because they'll, they'll, you'll find ways to save money while you're in this project mode. Train your people, we'll talk about that in detail. Migrate the app and deploy it. Make your savings and redeploy that money wherever you need it, in your big data and, and initiatives, back to your P&L, and then do the process again. And by the way, guys, this isn't, a new, this isn't a new methodology. For those of you who were big Unix users and moved to open source and Linux, you went through this process. You experienced this transformation. For those of you who did it in the areas of middleware and other places where open source has made a budget impact in your IT spend, you've done it before. It's hard to do with database. It's hard to do with database because of the intimate connection between an application and the database itself. We've done some work with our distribution of Postgres to make that a little bit easier by creating some in specific Oracle compatibility tools to allow you to take applications written to run on Oracle and migrate them to Postgres without changing the application so you don't have to rewrite all the stored procedures and the stored triggers and functions but those migrate over, and that's made it much simpler for many of our customers to make the move for a lot less money. So pick a project. We think about this, you know, we triage this, and a lot of our customers, their best practice is to look at a matrix of types of projects, and they think about, you know, what are the least effort to migrate, you know, things that use few, fewer database-specific uh, functionality in the application, more effort and most effort, and we can, we'll talk about what those mean in a minute, and really look at it from the area of you know, relevance to the business. Is it a mission critical app? If it's a non-mission critical app, does it span the enterprise or is it just a, depart a departmental? And through that process of evaluating the portfolio of applications you have running on expensive database, start to triage and start to say, which ones can I actually move? And we work in most cases, the 400 cust new customers from last year, over 800 now total, you know, we identify quick wins, and that's where we start the economic, the economic model in play. The second step is to train your staff. This is really easy and really obvious, and it's interesting how many companies will miss that. You know, part of the fear that you have to deal with is employee fear, that if we bring in some alternate technology, something's going to happen to their skill set um, that they can't be, that may not be valuable. We, we recommend starting with training because it's a way to get your staff bought in. Step three is migrate the application. This is a particular instance of a, of a global 100 telco who took an application that was written to run on Oracle and they migrated it to Postgres Plus and they compared the amount of time it took to migrate that app in terms of person days. Now they did this as part of their first project in order to define which other applications they would begin to move. Why are they doing this? Because they have to use, if they're a telco, they need that money to spend on the problems you're here talking about. So here's another way to look at that. In the category of easy apps, we think some you know, examples that we've seen, reporting apps, business intelligence apps, 
to give you some kind of order of magnitude about the amount of effort to make those changes, 13 man days to finish, 12 elapsed days. If you get into that medium category, you know, we, we often see in the 40, 40 person days, 37 elapsed days, less than two months. Obviously, as projects get more mission critical and size of the database gets bigger, that whole thing gets harder. So here's step four. Save the money and redeploy. Let me give you an order of magnitude. This particular example, eight server, two sockets per server, a relative savings between, the, the, in this particular case, customer ran Oracle, and what we offer was over a million bucks. This is real money, you guys know it. This is the money that you use and you redeploy. So the savings are, are real. And then you get to, a, you get to a, a area where you start to look at this over time and you can see how this expands and grows. So once you're done, we want you to do it again and we want to reassure you you're in great company. We've helped now hundreds of customers go through this migration process and start to address core infrastructure spend as a way to get to the future, the future technologies they want to invest in. Um, we're available, we have a booth here, we'd be glad to talk to you more about, uh, about what we're doing today and how we're helping companies and encourage you to come to the websites and take a look or come by and stop and see us. Uh, have a great conference and thank you very much.